Finding a new purpose. When a woman from Hingham lost both her jobs during the pandemic, she used it as an opportunity to reconstruct her childhood. She's now flipping houses on a much smaller scale. Brianna is back to explain, Brianna. Kate Yetman picked up an old dollhouse on the side of the road, thinking it would just be a fun pandemic project, not realizing it would become a full-time job. I never in my wildest dreams thought this would be where it is right now. Um, like I said, I started off just doing it for fun because I was bored and I had nothing else to do. Like so many other Americans, COVID-19 cost Kate Yetman her job. I lost both of my jobs. I was an esthetician and a makeup artist. I came across a few dollhouses on the side of the road um, with little like paper towel free signs on them. So I scooped them up. When a friend asked Kate to make over her daughter's dollhouse for Christmas, Kate got to work on the Marshfield-themed Green Harbor Beach Bungalow. I flipped just a regular old dollhouse into a beach bungalow, and after that, it kind of just, like, spiraled out of control in a good way. Hundreds of people messaging me after that beach bungalow went on Facebook. Do you love your dollhouse? Yes. I like the bedrooms. Yeah, I like the bedrooms, too. And the chairs are chest with the baby's toys in it. There are endless ways to decorate a dollhouse, from a little house plant for your living room to a clock for the mantle. I need a coffee table. I think I need a rug. Kate keeps a storage shelf full of dollhouse decor. I mean, come on. Look at those. <laughs> Onions. And a bin full of fabric from That's mini curtains, thing. rugs, or custom yeah. bed linens. The stuff I've been buying, like, I can use in multiple houses. As I'm, like, working on the houses, I have so many memories that are, like, flashing back in my head of me playing with my childhood house. I spent hours and hours playing with that. Every dollhouse has a story. And I've heard so many amazing stories the past few months. They're for everyone. Everyone. I don't care how old you are. Like, they're so fun. Well, hundreds of people have reached out to Kate looking to ship her their childhood dollhouses from Connecticut, New York, even Texas. She does accept donations, too. So if you're looking to just give a dollhouse away, you can reach out to her. Or if you'd like Kate to flip a dollhouse for you, she works with all sorts of themes and all different budgets. We have put her contact info on our website, cbsboston.com. But she tells me that she wants to set up a donation program where if someone does have a dollhouse they want to give away, they can give her some money. She will flip it, make it all pretty, and donate that to a child. I just think this is so fun. It's such a great idea, and those dollhouses are magnificent. I have a couple I want to send her. <laughs> just beautiful <laughs> work. So good.